Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about project scoping. This is a critical part of the project that you'll be undertaking. Uh, it's where you really set yourself up for success and taking the time to put the work into scoping your project now will really benefit you in the long run. Uh, projects can of course evolve over time and as you have new ideas, new people coming on board, you can adapt this plan and change it. But putting in the time up front will mean you have something to refer back to. Uh, and also it means that you've gone through the process yourself and are really clear on what it is that you're setting out to do with your project. There are some practical considerations up front, like what tools you're going to use, what platform you want to use to publish, uh, what communications channels, things like that you can spend time on as well. Uh, but what we're going to talk about today is really defining the project and what you need to do to really be clear on, on delivering your project uh, as, you, as you want to see it go out into the world. The best place to start with that is to really think about what your motivations and values are in undertaking this project. You've obviously decided it's important enough to put your time into it and, and you want to create it, so spend some time really getting clear on what your motivations are and uh, thinking about why the project is needed, whether that's just in your classroom as you see it or, or wider in the discipline, clearly articulating those kinds of messages will be what resonates with others out in the world as you're trying to bring on people to work on your project and to use it in the long run. There are all sorts of ways that you can create a text that's different and hopefully in many ways better than what's available already. And you can also think about what that means better as well uh, to you and what you're seeing that is the value in, in your approach that's different from what exists already. In particular, think about how you might be able to make your text more inclusive up front. A lot of commercial texts are delivered to a very broad audience, which can impact the decisions that are made in their content. And you're in the driving seat here to decide what goes into your text, and you can do things differently if you choose to. The next step, once you've spent time thinking about why your project is important, is to get into some of the nitty gritty. At this point, you'll need to make some decisions up front about things like the license that you're going to be using, being clear about your audience and the reading level you're going to be targeting, and do spend some time thinking about timeline, but no pressure. You'll set out on a timeline that, that is helpful, um, but that will adapt and change over time as things happen. That's the reality of these projects, but it is good to have something indicated up front so you know if you're on track to achieve what you want to head towards as a release date. And the other very practical and exciting part of this process is working on the outline for your text. Uh, this is where you can start naming the chapters or units you want to see, writing short descriptions for them, uh, thinking about the key concepts that are going to be addressed in each section, mapping those out across the book, um, thinking about uh, recurring elements that you want to have, maybe every chapter has a case study, things like that, and thinking as well about really clearly about your pedagogical outcomes. And this is a time where having an instructional designer around can be really helpful to make sure that that's all built in right from the very beginning. So overall, project scoping is about setting up your expectations from the beginning thinking through what you want to get out of the project, what you want to see it do in the world, how you want other people to be joining the project and what it'll look like for them, and making sure that you have something you can refer back to to stay on track. It's very easy and it's very exciting to, to get started and see other things that are happening and to want to go off in lots of directions, but by scoping your project really well from the beginning, you can keep coming back to that plan and make sure that you're successful in the long run.